All right, lights out ace here with a hot deck tech. We've got Praxis tokens. The specifics don't matter. You go to Eternal Warcry, you type in Xenobelisk and Rally, you, you get imported, you got it there. You got Initiative Sands to ramp out your stuff, Teacher Humility, because the card is busted. Merchant, so you can draw Obelisk more often. Rally, so you can get wins you don't deserve. Obelisk, because it's busted. Heart of the Vault, because it's busted and makes it so sweepers don't even matter against you. Uh, power in the market, because you want to get to 8 for Obelisk sometimes. Uh, Humbug Swarm to reload after a sweeper. Carnosaur, because it's broken and whoever built this deck played it. I don't know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty stock standard, I, I think. Not really much to talk about at this point. Uh, so, for the gameplay, I do actually want to go into Gauntlet and not into Ranked because a lot of times the, there are just so many lines to talk about that you really need more time than the uh, normal rope in Ranked gives you to really go through all the lines in depth when you're talking it out. So I'm going to go into Gauntlet so that there's no time pressure on me and I can uh, kind of explain at my own pace just to make sure that everyone is following along. Sorry, Tales of Elysia. Opponent is on an Elysian deck. Uh, and this is a very good opening hand, you know, it has all of my busted cards and I get to play five units in the first two turns and then play Rally, because what's not fun and fair about that? So I'm going to start by playing a one drop on turn one using a Sigil. All right, I should slow down. So I played a Sigil instead of the banner so that I could play my turn one drop on turn one. And then that means that this banner is going to be undepleted because I have a unit on turn two which will let me play two more units and uh, then attack with them. So the way I developed my power there was to play the undepleted power before the depleted power so that I could play more units. Okay, and then my opponent did something, I guess. Uh, then it's going to play power, kill or something. Because uh, you don't want you want to like, kill blockers with torch if you can, just so that your guys can get through and deal more damage when you're A-plus space. And you want to A-plus space pretty much every turn. Uh, and so now since the opponent doesn't have any blockers, there's a clear board. This is a good opportunity to play Rally and buff all of your units. And then the next stage is uh, very difficult. It's very important that you plus A and then uh, press uh, Alt plus F4 and close the game and get rid of Eternal so that you never have to face anyone with this stupid bullshit, piece of crap, ridiculous abomination of a deck and it never sees the light of day ever again. Very important to hit that last step. I'm out.